welcome back Fred in the Shed but not in the Radio Shack. Right this is part two on this very cheap Chinese RTL SDR software defined radio. If you missed the first video it might be an idea to pop back and have a look at that. I'll see if I can put a thing up in the corner of the screen I'll leave it in the description. Basically we bought this from China the idea is we're trying to see if we can cheaply get a radio scanner to pick up all of the CB bands and maybe the hand bands as well. We tried this one and we had a lots of bleed over from the local Radio 2 transmitting tower at Brookmans Park that's about six or seven miles from my QTH my location here completely wiped out the 11 meter band made this useless shame disappointed what i did do is order in this little broadcast fm filter they say this will wipe out all of those spurious signals and we we're able to use it it remains to be seen it wasn't expensive it was about eight pounds it it's made out of metal i thought it'd be plastic and it does come with a little kind of link up there on the sma so that's quite useful um yeah it's nicely made is it going to work? Honestly, don't know. But that's what we'll be testing in this video. So let's get on with it and find out. Let's just recap the problem for those that didn't see it on the first video. Here's my RTL SDR without the filter. And if we go up to the screen, this is what you're seeing here. This is right across the CB band and also the 10 meter hand band. And you can see all of those harmonics. And these are FM radio signals from that transmission tower. Let's have a quick listen. And hopefully by putting that filter in line that's what we're trying to uh, block out. Let me now put the filter in line and have another look. Uh, okay, very careful there, that's the filter in line. I'm going to start SDR sharp and uh, see what happens. Quite clearly, that filter isn't working. A bit disappointed, to be honest. Um, there's one thing I, I just thought about, though, when I was downstairs. I wonder if this filter has a polarity which way round it goes. It's only a passive device, it's not powered. It doesn't say anything on the filter, each side is identical. It's a bit of a long shot. What I'm gonna do is pause the program, I shall flip it round the other way and see if it makes any difference, but I don't think it will. Right, that is now reversed. Tighten it down and uh, let's start the program. And yeah, so as you can see, you, it's exactly the same. Okay. Um, one more thing I'm going to try, a few of you said in the comments on the last video to adjust the settings, make sure I've not got the automatic gain control, the AGC on. So let's have a quick look at those. Right, let's turn the sound down so you can hear me. So going into the settings on SDR Sharp, there's some, um, not a great deal really. So we've got the RF gain here, as you can see, if I put on the RTL automatic gain control yeah that just makes the whole thing even worse so there's the RF gain we have frequency correction but I don't know because these are ghost harmonics I don't know even if these signals are on frequency but let's see if I can turn the gain down Okay, don't seem to be able to adjust the RF gain. It's a little bit odd. It's greyed out, isn't it? That's a bit okay. Right, so I've just done a little bit of research reading the operating manual, and it says the RF gain, which is what I want to adjust. The slider can be used to set the RF gain. It will not be active if the tuner AGC is checked. Well, yeah, that's the problem I've got because if I go 
onto here. The tuner AGC is checked, but it's greyed out. I can't, I can't uncheck it for some reason. Um, this only works on direct sampling Q branch. If I go to that one, I then can uncheck it, and I can then set the RF gain, but I don't think the radio is going to work. Let's see if it works. Well, yeah, it works, and then I've got nothing coming in at all. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a mystery, isn't it? I go to Q branch again, and then instantly the RF gain is greyed out. So that's a bit of a challenge. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Um, I'll have a little quick look on the internet. Let, let me know in the comments. You must have hit this before if you're trying to use the same setup. Let me just have a little quick quick research and I'll come back to you. So I've done a little search and yeah, this has come up on a radio reference forum here. This guy's been told to adjust the AGC and he's got the same issue. Um, problem is when in direct sampling Cubanch, the RF gain selectors greyed out and, and frustratingly and this happens a lot when you do internet searches there's another debate going on about radios that's getting quite heated and no one comes back and answers his question unfortunately the thing you learn when you get into this RTL SDR is it gets quite technical very quickly a lot of people are having these problems with spurious harmonic radio stations bleeding over and there's various things here you can see on the internet but yeah this this goes right over my head um, if I had if I was retired and I had days and days to study this but I really I really haven't so yeah I'm not really finding what I want to be honest I'm searching the best that I can try and find out why that game control is greyed out so it's a bit frustrating. This is one of those things that does get you a little bit that way. As far as the other settings go, of course, you've got a few things on here. Um, there is a noise filter. I have tried the noise filter. Again, it's not going to knock out these spurious signals. You can increase, you can switch it on and you can increase the strength of it. Normally noise blankers and noise filters are for man-made interference such like car spark plugs and things if you were using a radio in a car. So yeah, I've gone through most of these and I've just not found anything that's going to knock out these spurious harmonics. So I'm a little bit stuck at the moment. We've tried a eBay radio filter blocker that hasn't worked. We can't turn the RF gain control down at the moment so yeah okay what I've done I, I've downloaded a 2015 version of SDR sharp because a lot of the instructions that I saw on the internet showed this one and on this version I can adjust the RF gain which is really really good but unfortunately when it comes down to the sampling mode now the sampling mode is greyed out and I can't select Q branch sampling so I can't receive anything at all on 27 megs that are also down on the medium wave so it's a bit frustrating I've got gain control but it doesn't seem to support Q branch sampling so nothing's coming in Right, I've I've moved up to a 2020 version of SDR Sharp, but we're going around in circles now because this version does not recognise my device, unfortunately. Yeah. So, hmm, it's just getting a bit frustrating now. So I'm probably going to have to leave it here. I can't keep downloading different versions. Okay, let's take this up to the shack and let's come to some conclusions. Back up in the radio shack. Disappointed. I hoped that that FM broadcast filter was going to work. Clearly, it's not. A few of you have said in the comments, Fred, you don't need a filter. You're just using the wrong settings, mate. And then you stop. You don't 
continue and say to me, Fred, well, you need to set this and you need to set that and this parameter. It's, it's nice that you leave a comment, but it's not really helpful, is it? I, I need to know what to set. But looking at the strength of those signals coming in on SDR Sharp, I mean, there's, some of those are 30 dB from that Radio 2 transmitting tower. That's going to be a lot to block out, even if I could adjust that RF gain control. And what, I've just watched the video back, actually, and it, it, did, it did allow me to adjust it when I put it off Q branch setting and went back. But I couldn't do it live if you were. But anyway, I think even if I reduced the setting down, those signals are too strong to filter out. And let me tell you, this whole thing is turning into a real trip. Now, I've gone a little bit deeper into this. There's only so far I want to go because price-wise, we're going to exceed the price of a multi-band sideband radio, which defeats the whole purpose. I did get another SDR in. This I got this one came in. Uh, thankfully this one just came in for review. This is just a sort of AliExpress Banggood type clone. What I liked about this one, if I bring it in closer, hopefully that will focus for me, it's got no internal RF switching control, so you have a series of SMA inputs for all the different bands there, all the different frequencies. And I was hoping, because of that, this would be far less sensitive to those harmonic ghost radio stations. The only problem with that is it turns out that this is an SDR Play RSP1 clone. I didn't realise that when I got it in. And that means there's no free open source software, no unlicensed software. The only software I can find that this will work, it, work with is SDR Uno. Now a few of you did recommend that I try SDR Uno. But the problem with that is that SDR Uno is an SDR Play licensed software for their own products. And like because of that, I really don't feel it's right that I should show you that and promote that on YouTube. I uh, just don't think that's the right thing to do. So if anyone has got one of these, or if anyone has a clone or a fake RSP1, and you know of any unlicensed software, any any uh, freeware that I could use this with, because it won't work with SDR Sharp. I did try. It just doesn't recognise it. So would you let me know in the comments? And then it would be interesting to get this working and to see if this is solving the problem. I think I'm going to go just a little bit deeper into this before I stop. I will buy another SDR dongle. Now, I've looked at the reviews on the internet and that RTL SDR, the little silver one, that gets some very good reviews but people were still suffering from sporadic ghost signals, um, harmonics, things like that. that. That's not where I want to go. The one that came out the best I think in my research was the Noelec Smart currently on version 5. This is available £35 UK on Amazon, so it's not expensive. That one seemed to get some good reviews. Not that much people mentioning any bleed over from radio sort of stations. Now, with that one, a lot of people recommend that you get the up converter that comes with it. That's the Ham It Up version 1.3. That allows the SDR to tune down to the HF frequencies a lot cleaner. If I was starting, I think, for myself, and I really wanted to get into SDR listening, shortwave listening, I probably would get that straight away. Um, any problem I've got with that is that if you put the two together, I suppose you're looking at about 110, 120 pounds. Um, for about 140, you could get an any clone 5555, a proper 10 meter stroke CB radio that will work on all of the modes. Personally, I would sooner encourage people to get a proper radio if they were spending that money. I would like people to get onto get onto the air, get contacts, and hopefully create little groups, promote radio help to keep it alive. I think that's probably going over budget. I, mean, I want to try and get this one in cheap so it gives people a chance to dip their toes in the water, get the taste of listening to perhaps skip on CB radio, maybe some ham radio, and then they'll take the plunge and they'll be very, very keen and enthusiastic when they buy a radio. So anyway, I've ordered that from Amazon. That will be here tomorrow. I'm really, really busy at work. I probably won't get round to 
having a chance to play with that to the end of the week and it'll be another few days or maybe a week before that comes on to also, the channel. If I can get one of these to work, I've also got a Balan. I think this is a nine to one Balan. I, I bought this a long time ago and I've completely forgotten what it is. Um, I think this was a nine to one Balan. For, so that's for use of on a long wire. If I can get these to work. Gonna bring this one to a close now. Look out for that next video where we test that new Elec Smart version 5. That should be interesting. But as for now, as always, cheers. There's the thumb from Fred in the Shed. Thanks for your view time. Please give me the thumbs down below if you could. I would appreciate that. Helps me, helps the channel. Subscribe to see more and all that. But mostly, look after yourselves. Take care. Catch you on the next one. Oh,